Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you for rocking with me. Let's continue the journey this week with a fall and winter fragrance that I am going to wear the hell out of. All right, y'all, the fragrance we're going to be talking about today is none other than the newest release from BDK Parfums, and that is Gris Charnel Extra. Gris Charnel Extra came out in 2022, the nose behind the fragrance. Now, before I say this, I will preface this. I tried to pronounce this name 57 times with the camera off. As an American trying to pronounce a French name, it hardly ever goes well, but we're going to give it a shot. Mathilde Bihawi. Is that even close? I doubt it. I apologize. Let's move on. For the note breakdown, on the top we have cardamom, black tea, and fig. In the mid we have iris, bourbon vetiver, and cystus and canis. And in the base we have sandalwood, Madagascar vanilla, cedar, tonka bean, Indonesian patchouli leaf. Sizes and prices. This is a 100ml bottle of Gris Charnel Extra. This is going to cost you $280 USD. So what does it smell like? It is my scent of the day. I'm going to give you a fresh spray on this sample card here from this bottle. The atomizer is absolutely beautiful. So this is a darker version of the original, which I love the original. The original was my favorite release when it came out. I love the original. This is a darker version of this, of the original. It is a lot more smoky, a lot more sophisticated. You still get a resemblance of the original in the DNA, which I love. This is not um, a totally different fragrance, but it is a, a fragrance that you can tell has been amped up. Extra is definitely the term used here uh, to perfection because this is an amped up version of the original. There's the calming black tea in the top that makes this more sophisticated in terms of the scent. Um, the original was a little bit more watered down in my opinion. However, this, oh, this I can get with. This is a smokier version. It's a more calming version. It's definitely a darker version. It's going to uh, get you in the mindset of the fall and winter, an exceptional release so far from the house of BDK. There is a subtle sweetness of the tonka bean in the base. It does not ever get overly sweet, which I appreciate to no end because once things start getting overly sweet they start getting juvenile and immature in my opinion and we don't want that especially from this brand I think this brand is full of class sophistication and they hit the right tone with the sweetness in Gris Charnel Extra. Iris is definitely prominent in the mid it kind of acts as a second skin if you will um, when you wear this this is not a projection beast though it's not a projection beast you're gonna wear it it's not gonna go six feet out in front of you however the Sihaj is amazing now, back in May I did have a chance to fly to one of the uh, BDK Gris Charnel Extra uh, launch events I went to San Francisco where we all met at Zigo Parfumery um, I did have the chance to meet and speak with David Benedek, the founder of BDK Parfums. I'll put that picture somewhere up here. Um, he couldn't have been a nicer gentleman. Uh, took time to speak with us all about the concept of Gris Charnel Extra, as well as some other fragrances. But that's what makes this fragrance a little bit more special in my opinion, even though I would wear it anyway, even if I just bought it from the store and didn't go to the event. Uh, going to the event, actually spending time with the perfumer, um, spending time with other content creators at that event makes this bottle a little bit more special in my eyes and of course I had him sign the bottle on the back so uh, that's what makes this bottle special to me what makes this uh, fragrance a unique wearing experience in my eyes is that I was actually there communicating with the founder about the concept of the fragrance and I would love it anyway, but I love it even more so that I got to participate in that event. 
performance for Gris Charnel x ray is no slouch. It comes in at 10 plus hours on my skin. Every time I've worn it, I have gotten 10 hours plus on my skin. It does become a little bit of a skin scent around the eight and a half hour mark. However, you are still gonna pick up the perceptibility. It is not gonna go away. I have to shower it off. Now everyone's skin chemistry is different. I get that. So don't come for me in the comments if you get you know more or less time than i do on my skin however the performance of gris charnel x-ray is absolutely worth the price tag and i will say for everyone's reference yes i bought the bond what is your favorite fragrance from the house of bdk parfums let me know in the comments below i want you to be interactive with me if there's something i'm missing from the brand please do let me know i don't have every fragrance from the brand so if you want me to review something from bdk that you guys have in your collection or that you guys are curious about let me know in the comments below i will do my best to get a bottle that's my time. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Go down below, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.